My brothers and sisters this video can take some long time. But by the grace of Allah you will achieve some significant details. So watch this video to the end to get full benefits. The path to righteousness is beautiful, but it's not always easy. We all stumble sometimes, and that's okay. What truly matters is how we pick ourselves up and continue our journey towards Allah. This lecture will explore how to break free from the cycle of repeating sins, drawing wisdom from the Quran, hadiths, and inspiring stories. The Ever-Merciful and the Power of Repentance Allah says in the Quran, Say, O Prophet, that Allah says, O my servants who have exceeded the limits against their souls. Do not lose hope in Allah's mercy, for Allah certainly forgives all sins. He is indeed the all-forgiving, most merciful. This verse reminds us of Allah's infinite mercy. No matter how many times we stumble, the door to repentance is always open. The Prophet said, Truly, the regret of the believer after sin is itself a repentance from Allah. Understanding the root cause. Before we can break free from a sin, we need to understand why we keep falling back into it. Here are some questions to consider. Is it a habit? Sometimes, sins become ingrained in our daily routines. We might not even realize we're doing them. Are we surrounded by temptations? Our environment can have a big impact on our actions. Do we lack the knowledge or support we need? Sometimes, we simply don't know how to avoid the sin or don't have the support system to help us through tough times. Seeking forgiveness and making a sincere change. The first step is sincere repentance, Tawbah. This involves regret for our actions, a firm decision not to repeat them, and seeking Allah's forgiveness. We can say prayers of repentance and actively seek ways to make amends if necessary. The story of Musa and the right action. Prophet Musa once encountered a man known for his wrongdoings. Musa advised him to repent and do good deeds. The man replied, I've done too many bad things that I ask there any good deed that can erase them. Prophet Musa told him to perform ablution perfectly and pray. This story teaches us that even one sincere good deed can pave the way for forgiveness. Building our defenses. Once we've repented, we need to build defenses to prevent ourselves from falling back into sin. Here are some tips. Strengthen our connection with Allah through prayer, Quran recitation, and remembrance, zikr. Seek knowledge about Islam and the specific sin we're struggling with. Surround ourselves with positive influences who will support our journey. Identify and avoid triggers that lead us to sin. The story of the companions and avoiding temptation. One companion was known for gossiping. He felt terrible about it and sought advice from the Prophet. The Prophet told him, whenever you want to gossip about someone, remember a good deed they've done instead. By replacing the negative thought with a positive one, the companion was able to avoid gossiping. Conclusion The struggle against sin is a lifelong journey. There will be setbacks, but with Allah's help and our own determination, we can break free from the cycle and become the best versions of ourselves. Remember, Allah loves those who repent and strive for good. As for those who struggle in our cause, we will surely guide them along our way. And Allah is certainly with the good doers. This lecture is just a starting point. There are many resources available to learn more about repentance and overcoming sin. Don't hesitate to seek guidance from scholars and righteous people in your community. May Allah reward you, for listening.